my inspiration for being the prime sponsor of this bill in the House is, of course, the two million Pennsylvania workers who don't currently have access to retirement savings. But on a more personal level, when Senator Haywood came to the Senate and joined the Senate Finance Committee, I was a staff member on the Senate Finance Committee. So I've been watching this public servant behind me champion a secure and dignified retirement for Pennsylvanians since 2015, which feels just like a blink of an eye ago, but he's been at it for quite a while and deserves yet another round of applause. Thank you, Senator Haywood. So yes, we had, we had success. We had a bipartisan uh, show of support the last time we were in session in passing Keystone Saves from the House of Representatives, something I'm exceptionally proud to report, but we have much work to be done getting it through the Senate. As I mentioned, as many as two million Pennsylvanians lack access to retirement savings at work through no fault of their own and through no fault of their employers. Their employers often are small businesses who are just trying to uh, keep the lights on and make ends meet. As the Senator mentioned, Pennsylvania is looking at a $17.8 billion gap that we will need to find, that we will be mandated to find. That's the mandate of this problem. The mandate here is that this will cost us eventually when so many of those without access to retirement savings are forced to rely on s social service programs. So I believe this is a plan rooted in fiscal responsibility. There is no risk to the taxpayer. There is no cost to the taxpayer. This is the Treasury Department establishing a program and allowing the private market then, the private financial industry, to do what it does best and manage this plan on behalf of these roughly two million Pennsylvania workers. Now, we understand that we're in a time of divided government, a Democratic House, a Republican Senate, and a Democratic governor. And I know none of us want to deal with that exceptional cost uh, of uh, increased social programs, reliance on social programs. However, there's also a willingness, I think, to take a look at the bill and see how we get to yes. We need 26 votes to pass the Senate. We need 102 votes to pass the House. Can't escape that math. But the other element, the other bit of math, the bigger math problem is how do we make sure those two million workers have a dignified retirement? So this is about math, but it's about dignity in uh, for our Pennsylvania workers.